A classified cable sent on November 3, 2005. American charge d'affaires Vicky Huddleston wrote from Addis Ababa. Ethiopia cannot accept Fatima as Eritrean territory, as doing so would compel Ethiopia to recognize that it was the aggressor when entering Fatima during the 1998 hostilities. She goes on to quote Joseph Laguardia, the head of the UN peacekeeping mission in Eritrea and Ethiopia. Prime Minister Meles has told him that Ethiopia's strategy was to isolate Eritrea and wait for it to implode economically. The very next day, Huddleston sent another cable regarding a UN Security Council resolution that promoted peaceful demarcation of the border, revealing the US support for Ethiopia's strategy against Eritrea. I assured him that the US was pressing hard to delay the resolution or modify it. In 2010, another American charge d'affaires in Ethiopia, John Yates, explained that Ethiopia was specifically targeting Eritrean refugees while it is commendable that the GOE continues to be willing to host refugees, the GOE, particularly ARRA, has strong political and financial reasons for doing this. Perhaps the most surprising revelation came from Ronald K. McMullen in a cable entitled Promoting Educational Opportunity for Anti-Regime Eritrean Youth. We intend to give opportunities to study in the United States to those who oppose the regime. I recently renewed sanctions on some of the worst abusers, including North Korea and Eritrea. We're partnering with groups that help women and children escape from the grip of their abusers. We're helping other countries step up their own efforts, and we're seeing results. This border issue was a senseless uh, conflict instigated by the United States in the first place, for the record. And we uh, went to arbitration, and arbitration was done, and the decision was taken. And that decision is blocked by the United States. It's not blocked by Ethiopia. The, the decision of the arbitrators went against Ethiopia uh, in their borders with Eritrea, and uh, we uh, extracted some kind of other deal uh, with them to help us uh, with some sort of uh, defense-related deal. and. Uh, let them off the hook. Basically said they didn't have to follow their arbitration. We're talking about uh, a misguided policy of the United States that wants to create crisis here, political problems here and there, and micromanage those problems. Ethiopia. Ethiopia does not have the resource and the means to block any decision of arbitration and implementation. So it's, it's a cover up for the failure of the misguided policies of the United States in the Horn of Africa for the last 20 years. So would you, if Ethiopia were to withdraw from Budme, that's the, uh, the border town that you are referring to, if they had to withdraw from that, would you then take this country off the it's, war footing? It's, it's, it's not a problem with Ethiopia. We've never had any problems with Ethiopia. We work with these people for almost two decades to remove uh, a, a government in Ethiopia. And we wanted to see uh, a relationship between Eritrea and Ethiopia based on mutual respect on, and commonality of interest. And we worked for decades for that. And now we're talking about uh, a misguided policy of the United States that